Hi everyone, welcome back. Thanks so much for being here. Today I'm gonna to be talking about 20 palettes that I feel like the color stories are perfect for spring and summer. I really just went through my whole collection and was picking out palettes that inspire me that I wanna bust back out. Some of these are new, some of these are old, some of these are limited edition you can't get anymore. And I thought it would just be fun to reminisce, talk about the color story. I hope that it will inspire you to go through your own collection or bust out some of those palettes that have some spring and summer vibes. So without further ado, we're gonna get into it because it's a lot, <laughs> it's a lot of palettes. I have anything from quads to like really, really large palettes here. So we're going to get into it, but I want to know your guys' favorite palettes for spring and summer, whether they're old, they're new. I'd love to know what you're using down below. All right, I have to say it. This is the palette that probably inspired me to do this video the most because it is just the epitome of spring and summer to me. This is from Cleona. It's the Dragon Fruit palette, and this was in collaboration with Emily Violet Marie. I just love this. This came out last year, and it's all shimmer. So right there, it already has me. Like, like, I love an all shimmer palette. I love an all shimmer look. Like, mattes, who needs them? Um... Just kidding, I do like a matte, but you know, I love shimmer. So this has tons of pink options, and I feel like if I'm gonna go with a colorful shade, pink tends to be something I'm reaching for a lot right now, along with this inner corner green. Oh my gosh, I cannot quit. <laughs> I need to stop. Someone needs to send intervention and help because I just can't stop using a, like a neon yellow, chartreusey green, acidy, greeny yellow. But I'm honestly not sorry about it. I love it. Anyway, I just love this. This also has those greens in here too if I want to do something like that. And I love the Cleona formula. There are some really pretty like stained glass type formulas in here. Effervescent is just so pretty all over the lids for a glowy kind of bronzy golden look. I recently went to Arizona I brought this with me on my trip and I did a fun look I wasn't expecting to do something colorful but I started with this on my lid and then I added a little bit of orange and then I was adding the green on my inner corner like lower lash line area and it just kind of evolved from there so I just love that this is all in one I feel really inspired by this palette it just makes me want to be in the sun makes me want to do something fun like I love it this is the epitome of summer probably more summer than spring but it's just fun and bright and warmer weather too me so I love this palette so so much I saw that they're doing a new palette as well I'm really excited to see the reveal of the inside of that because they don't do a ton of palettes Cleona but um, I'm interested I want to see that color story so badly which kind of reminds me we need to do a new beauty launches soon because we have not talked about new makeup in that kind of way in so long I think it's like we're coming up on almost two months like it's been a long time so that will be coming very very soon hopefully all right another oldie that I decided to put in here this one is from Kaleidos and it is the Escape Pod. This is such a, um, like, I don't know, I have a lot of nostalgia around this product because I don't know if it was 2020 or 2019 when this came out, but I love this. Like, I remember being like, that is my color, sorry. I was so into color at the time. So this was just so perfect to me. It has some really fun, bright mattes. I love this kind of periwinkle blue. It's kind of purple, kind of blue, you know, one of those colors. I just think that's so fun fun for an all over eye look or putting that down and then putting a shimmer on top. And then I really love the shimmers in here as well because they are more of a iridescent, really sparkly finish. You guys know how I like those, a little bit more sheer, but depending on the base you put down, you can build them up. This is actually a newer version. They like updated how the packaging was since the original, but it's been a while since I've busted this out to be honest. So I wanna, you know, put it back on, just some fun colors. And this one really brings me back and I feel like it's so perfect again color story wise for spring and summer. It's not all colorful though. I will say I do feel inspired as of late to do just like one shadow looks or pops of color, especially I think going into summer and stuff because I think it's so fun, but I do really love neutrals as well. This is one of the neutral palettes that I put in here and this is the California Coast palette from Sydney Grace. This is one that I got during their July sale. So every year in July, they do a Christmas in July sale. It's one of the best sales that they do all year and they do different deals each day for like a whole week and one of the days when I ordered this was like the free palette with a certain minimum purchase and I love this palette. Sydney Grace's formula is so good. It's just such a solid luxe formula. To me it's like the Natasha Denona of the indie world. Like I think Natasha Denona is technically indie but I mean more like indie brands as we like kind of think about them. They just have such a solid matte formula. Absolutely beautiful neutrals over there and then I really like their shimmers as well. They tend to do a more 
traditional metallic, but they just are so pigmented, so beautiful. And every time I do a look with this palette, I love it. I absolutely love it. I know this isn't beautiful to look at for everyone, but I feel like these are some mouth-watering neutrals, at least to me. They always look so good on my eyes. They really bring out the color of my blue eyes as well. So I definitely want to get some use out of this. And I just felt like the kind of California coast outside just felt like summer doing like a day trip somewhere. So I put that one in. This is a new to me palette, but it is not new on the market. This is the Cartagena palette. And I, oh, this to me is summer in a palette. I love peachy tones. I love the pink tones. And oh my gosh, is that, is that a chartreuse acidy green yellow? I think it is. I just, there's a running theme here. I love that type of color. And to me, this has everything I would want if I was gonna go just full-blown colorful and do for the most part something monochromatic. So when I look at this palette, what I'm thinking is like something orange, like doing an all orange look with some really pretty shimmers and then maybe popping the inner corner with that. <laughs> Imagine. I really love these fuchsia-y purples down here, pinky purples. I feel like those also kind of contrast nicely with the yellowy green because purple and yellow are contrasting. I just think it's so fun. There are a few like neutrals, but they still have a nice warmth to them. And I am just excited to try this palette out. So this one is again, new to me, not new on the market, but I think it is so perfect for summer. So if you have this, definitely bust it out. And I'm excited to try Nomad for the first time. I feel like out of all the color stories I've seen, this is the one that really calls to me and I've heard really great things about the formula. So I am really excited for that one. I of course have to mention the Perfect World collection from Odin's Eye. Uh, duh, uh, duh. If you guys don't know, I did a collaboration with Odin's Eye along with Betty Jean's palette, the Planet Spirit palette, as well as Amanda Makeup Just For Fun. She has the Flora Story palette and then I did the Sea Talk palette. And these quite frankly are absolutely perfect for spring and summer. They are. When we finally got to see everyone's palettes because we created them on our own. We were so excited how fun they were together. So this is my palette, the Sea Talk palette. I love this. Again, chartreuse yellow green. Yes, yes. <laughs> but there are a lot of really fun shimmers in here. I really love the shimmers that I picked out for this palette. Obviously, I love it. It's mine. But you can do something colorful. There's kind of these pops in the middle. This shade here, Iridescent Shell, actually, it looks pink in the pan, but it's more of a iridescent kind of blue purple and then it has a little bit of that pink base depending on how much you build it up i just absolutely love this palette and then of course there's still some neutrals as well with some shimmery shades too so it gives you that pop of chartreuse if you're looking for it it's in there and the one in there is so pretty too because it has a little bit of a glow to it it's like a satin color so it has nice opacity it's not like a sheer shimmer but it has this like glowing look to it i really love it this is betty jean's palette the Planet Spirit palette, which is super fun for summer. Lots of fun pops in here. It's like full on colorful. I really love this yellow. This is one of my favorite shades in the palette. I think it shears out so pretty on the lid for just this like golden, really reflective, sunny look. Like I love that one, but this one's so perfect. And then of course we have Amanda's palette. I don't know why I'm holding these upside down this whole time, but Amanda's palette is purple and green. It has some really soft sagey colors. I Misty is just so so beautiful. I love this one just all over the eye on its own stunning little look. I love the purples that are in here and then I also really love the best bud shade. That one is so pretty on the inner corner as well. They're honestly just a perfect little trio so I had to put them in here. I think they're really perfect and appropriate for the spring summer theme and I will obviously leave the link down below. I do have a code with Odin's Eye. It doesn't work on any of the collab palettes but if you're on the site you're gonna buy something. It works on anything else and for my palette as well as I think all the other palettes Whatever's left in stock is what's left. So we did have a restock because it sold out, but now it is back in stock and that is everything. So if you want it, make sure you get it before it's sold out. Obviously no pressure, but I just want to be transparent about that, that there will not be another restock once it's sold out this time. Okay, continuing on, let's talk about another neutral palette. This is like at this point a classic, I feel like. The bronze palette from Natasha Denona. This is the epitome of bronzy summer looks. Like that's basically all you can get in here. It's a lot of bronze, okay? There's tiny little tweaks in tone. Like there are some differences between the colors and also in the finishes of these colors as well. But overall, you're getting a very similar bronzy look. You can go sultry though. You can go day to night. It really is a good one if you like those warm tones. And I really do like the Natasha Denona formula overall. So I think this one's great and I always bust it out for summer because it is just perfect for summertime. I have some oldies here, some more colorful 
purple shades. These are actually both matte palettes, but I feel like these are perfect again for those pops of color. So I have two different sugar pill palettes. I don't, maybe the fun size two is available still. I, I'm not sure though. Don't quote me on that. But these are the fun size, this one and the fun size two palettes. I mean, these are just like palettes that spark joy in my collection. I was so excited when these came out. I just feel like these feel like a part of my makeup journey. You know what I mean? Uh, I love the fun, probably my favorite is the fun size, the original one. I love the tones that are in here. They're all matte. They're just such fun colors. And again, they kind of inspire me to want to do something with a pop of color, whether I'm like popping it on that inner corner or just doing a wash all over the lid and then usually following that up with some type of shimmer that complements it nicely. I just think it's so pretty. So I definitely wanted to put that in here. And then this is what the fun size two looks like. So definitely a bit different. I find this one more grungy almost. Uh, let me hold them up together. So the bottom to me, like the original, just has something a little bit more pastel. I'm trying not to drop them right now. Whereas the top one, there's just something more grungy to some of the colors and they just seem a little bit more unique, not only individually, but also in the collection of shadows that they are. But there's a really pretty cloud blue. I really wanna do a cloud blue look. I think that would be really pretty. I also like this powder pink, so I definitely wanna to try to bust out some looks with these ones. And when I'm talking about a shadow that I would maybe put on top of like one of those matte colors, this is something that I would do that with. This palette here from Linda Hallberg, another one that's a little bit older. This was limited edition as well. It's the Enchanted Secrets, and it's just a quad but it is a beautiful quad filled with ethereal like shimmery duochromatic shades so picking one of those colors and then topping one of these shadows on top is like exactly what I'm talking about these are really stunning I am so glad to have this this is just one of those kind of collectors piece in my collection overall I'm so happy we have things like the shimmer saga quad you guys know I love that this is definitely a different formula than those but I love the quads from uh, LH cosmetics is what they're called now I believe but I just absolutely love 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 this one Enchanted Secret has to come out it's definitely one of those inspiring pieces of makeup and I feel like things like this remind me like I can do makeup however I want to and I can still have fun like these are all fun colors but in the way that I use them it's still a simple look so instead of only doing something neutral it's like you can do something fun but keep it simple keep it one shadow kind of just all over your eye a little ethereal like and have that fun have a little pop of color but for me still feel really put together still feel really pretty and still really like that look in the kind of mode I'm in now so really love that one I have a few more indie palettes this is a new one this was sent to me from Glaminatrix and this one's called into the night it's definitely an interesting color story I feel like there's a lot of different looks that you can do but the reason I put this one in here is because of the pops of color these neon shades I feel like the pink and this highlighter yellow are just stunning that's what I'm wearing on my inner corner today Day is the moonlight shade and I really love those so specifically I'm kind of going for those neon colors in here but there's a lot more in here to also like deepen up looks add some drama add some dramatics and this after dark shade which is a silver is like intense and <laughs> it's so intense look at that it could go for days just keeps going. But yeah, I definitely want to get some more use out of these colors in the summer. I just think they're so fun. I don't know if this is one that I would purchase on its own because of the color story, but I am happy to have those neons. I really do like those. The other indie palette is one that I bought and I just want to get more use out of. I don't know why I don't reach for this more because I really thought I would. And this is the After Dark palette from Lethal Cosmetics. I think this is so fun altogether, but I think I maybe bought this like right as I'm kind of transitioning into less bold color I think in my life and so since this is like a lot of bold color on its own in a palette I feel like it's a little bit tough for me but I want to you know what I want to do I want to take my lethal shadows like all the different ones that I have and create a custom palette I think that would be really really fun and I really love the quality of their shadows I feel like their mattes are amazing I have some of the palettes from Teresa and I think those would be fun to kind of mix together and create something fun and unique for myself but I mean it has this really pretty pink there's some green some blues like lots of fun colors and this one also has a few kind of 
dual chromatic shades as well. This purple is really pretty. I like that one. So um, I don't know. I just, I put this one in here more than anything for me to be like, Lauren, use these. Use this palette. What are you doing? So that's one of my goals for myself this summer. <laughs> use this lethal palette slash also maybe create my own custom so that I can get some more use out of them because I have a few favorite shadows from them. Really like one, I believe it's called Lithium as just a one shadow shimmer look. So pretty, but I kind of want to move some things around and get creative. I feel like in general, it's time for my single shadows to make a comeback. I have six more palettes to talk about. I'm telling you, there is a lot of stuff here. So many fun options for me to choose from. I really have been having a really good time exploring my makeup. I'm really in the mode of just doing my makeup every single day. I can't wait to try new things. I can't wait to rediscover old stuff. I can't wait to just play. It's so much fun. And I really, really hope that if you have a lot of makeup at home, you can find that space again, because I know that it can be kind of tough. I know I'm like going off. I don't know why I'm choosing to do that in this video, but I really feel like filming this is reminding me even more of like how much I love it all. So I hope that you can tap into that as well and really find some joy and enjoyment in your products. Okay, anyway, next, this is from Makeup by Mario. And this to me is a really good one if you're more of a neutral girl, but you want some pops, you want some color, but you want it done in a more approachable way. I think this would be a really good one for you. So this is the Master Metallics palette from Makeup by Mario again. And this is what it looks like. So it has some really pretty bronzy shades, some warm shades in here, but then it also has this like mossy green. And it also has this really deep blue blue, a shimmery dark black. So you can do something that is very glam and kind of nighttime with this as well. I think that is so fun. There's some really fun pinks and purples in here too, and it's all shimmer. So I love that. You can just bring in your own mattes if that's something you want, or just put a little bronzer in your crease, add one of these to the lid and you're done. I really love this palette for like a luxe shimmery look. And again, I feel like this is perfect for people who don't want a ton of color. Like if you don't want a ton, this is a good one to look at because it has enough in it to play with, but nothing that's too scary. I put this little naked palette in here. This is from Urban Decay. They sent this out to me, but this is the Mucho Happy one. I mean, first off, the outside is so pretty. And then on the inside, this is what it looks like. It's mostly neutral, but it has really warm tones in it. I did a video using this, so I don't know if I'll try to link it, but you can go back and see it. I really feel like these pops of yellow and blue really, you know, stand out, make me think of literally a pool. Like they literally make me think of being at the pool, having like a floaty the sun all that this blue though is a little deceiving it's not nearly as bright as it looks in the palette it has like a gold sheen to it which makes it a lot more wearable for sure but i definitely when i first used this i was like what <laughs> That blue isn't as blue as I thought it was. But this is just such a fun one. And I really liked the look that I got. I felt like the quality was really good on this. If you're really interested in this palette, I'm sure you can get it half off. So if it's not half off yet, just wait around. I'm telling you, it will go half off. And for that price, I definitely think it's a good one. Like it's fun if you're interested in it. Obviously, if you're not like pass it up, baby, and try some other stuff. But if this color story is calling to you, the packaging and whatnot, I do think this was a good one. And it's definitely giving me summer vibes. I can't talk about spring and summer without talking about this glam light palette I believe this is the first glam light palette I ever bought and I have a couple other ones I have like the martini ones and I also bought the Michaela like the first collab with Michaela and I think that's it I haven't bought anything since I've been tempted by some of the launches because they really come out with cute collections don't get me wrong but the ice cream dream palette is the one that got me this is one of the largest palettes in my collection I don't tend to go for a palette this big anymore but man it has just everything you could need I really do like the glam light shimmer formula and in here there are a lot of like these rosy coppery shimmers there's like a lot of them which don't get me wrong like I love they are all really pretty but then they're kind of put in this mosaic of really beautiful I would call them pastel colors but they're a little bit brighter a little bit more pigmented than some of the other pastels I feel like you can get on the market so I think this one is just so fun I remember being so excited when this came to me I was like oh my gosh I bought myself like a new palette I definitely didn't have the budget to buy a bunch of makeup at that time. And so this one was a really special purchase for me. And it's still inspiring. I feel like, you know, looking at it now, I don't know if it'd get me today, probably just cause it's just so large, but I do think it's so fun. And there are just so many looks that you can do in here. If you're someone who wants one big palette, you want the value, this one is really cute or just large palettes can be good for that where you really have like a whole painter's palette. But I'm the type of girl now where I'm like a single shadow, 
I love a single shadow, you know. Last three palettes, I have two from Viseart. One is a little bit bigger. This is La Plage. This came out, I wanna say two years ago or three years ago, and I just recently picked this up. So this to me is such a summer palette. It's mostly these kind of like yellowy bronzes, but it's still a very light look. I've used this a couple of times, and every time I get something just kind of golden, sun-kissed, but nothing over the top. I really feel like these just kind of go on my lid and kind of add a little bit of something shimmery, a little bit of something nice, but nothing too structured and nothing with too much dimension. And I actually really quite like it. I think I'm kind of expecting that, but it just gives me like ethereal summer. That's what this palette is. It also does have a dark brown though. So I like to use that as a wing sometimes. I think this one is so fun. It's kind of the expanded and softer version of the uh, Urban Decay. Like this one's like more in your face and this one's like softer, you know? <laughs> but I really love this one. And this, since it's new to me, I definitely want to use it in the summertime. And then I did pick a quad out as well. I love the Viseart formula. I recently fell in love with that formula. So I put in here the Pesh quad and this one to me is just perfect monochromatic eyes. I love that there's like a bright peach in here. I think that is such a fun color again as a wash all over. <laughs> Do I need to say it? Like, I love one shadow looks, okay? Or, I mean, when I say one shadow, a lot of the time I just mean simple, and it could include like two shadows and then an inner corner highlight that's different as well, but I just think this one is so pretty. And these kind of tones always bring out the blue in my eyes, which I really love as well. So I put the Pesh Quad in here. All right, guys, I'm popping in here because I forgot to show you the Rowan Goldless palette to actually make this video 20 palettes. And I'm so sad because this is one of the top palettes in this whole video that I will be using for spring summer it fits my current style absolutely perfectly i really love this quad from rowan you guys already know i love these quads so much but the gold lust is so stunning i love all of the cream shimmers that are in here they are kind of like a gradient of these golden bronze colors and they all work so nicely on my lids and then in this quad there's actually a powder shadow and it pairs so beautifully topped over any of these other creams. So I wanted to show this. I'm sorry I couldn't give it more love and I'm sorry for my raspy voice. <laughs> I was having too much fun the last couple days and have lost it a bit, <laughs> me and Angie. But anyway, back to the video. And then the last palette, we're on to number 20. We did it, oh my gosh. This one came out last year and this is the Summer Unrated palette from NARS. I honestly hate that NARS does so much limited edition stuff. I feel like they have really great professional like formulas I really love how their shadows go on and how so many of their products work, but so many of the face palettes, so many of the eyeshadows like are not permanent. They're like limited edition and I hate that. Anyway, this is what it looks like. So this is not available anymore, but I just think this one is a great option for summer. It's similar to the Natasha Denona bronze in that there are these like bronzy warm tones in here, but it has some rosy tones as well. It has some of those pinks in here. I really love those. I love the warm browns that are in here. It's such an easy palette to use. And I just love the quality again. I feel like these shadows just do a lot by themselves. Like there's not a ton of finessing you need to do. They do what they need to do. They're easy. And I always get a really pretty look with this palette. So I definitely want to put this palette in my spring and summer palette video. And that's everything. Those are all my choices for my own collection. Uh, there's definitely some overlap between these palettes, but they all inspire me. I'm really excited to put these all on my eyes this summer and spring. I don't know why I keep only referring to summer. It's also for spring. But like I said, I'd love to know what palettes you are loving for spring and summer. What's inspiring you? If it's new, if it's older, if it's limited edition, let us know down below. And I hope you guys are excited to use your makeup. Thanks so much for being here. And other than that, I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.